Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today we are just gonna make a card. All I know is that I have colors that I want to use. And it is the Rich Razzleberry and the Pear Pizzazz and some watercolor. I also grabbed a few things like this lace doily. Uh, I grabbed some little alcohol markers here. I grabbed some enamel dots that matched with the colors I'm wanting. I grabbed some ink, Rich Razzleberry, Flirty Flamingo, Always Artichoke, and Pear Pizzazz, and a Wink of Stella brush. Those were from Stampin' Up. Then I picked these, um, what's it called, Frida Flourish set. And I just, I'm gonna try out these stamps. I've never used these stamps um, other than in my Bible, so we're gonna try these out. And what else? And then I just grabbed a few other um, Illustrated Faith stuff. I grabbed some washi and some little tags from the Bright and Brave. Um, you can get all the Illustrated Faith stuff at Dayspring. I'll put a link down below. You can get the Stampin' Up! stamps and stuff, obviously, from uh, Stampin' Up! on my blog, Beauty and the Stamper. And I think we're just going to kind of go with and see what happens here. So let's go ahead and clear everything off and see what we come up with. And you guys, they're now doing this mobile live on YouTube, so I think I'm going to do a... Um, mobile after everything calms down we have family here for the next little while so who knows we'll see what happens but I think definitely I I got this little tiny like one and a quarter inch by who knows because I want to use this little guy right there so I'm just gonna grab that And we'll put that on this little block right here. And of course I did not bring a black ink, but we're gonna go with the Rich Razzleberry. No, I'm gonna grab the black ink real quick, hold on. So I don't know which one. Uh, here's some Memento in Tuxedo Black. We'll just use that one. And let's see how well this stamps here. Mm, pretty decent. Yep. So let's go ahead and put this on for reals this time. And I'm just going to line it up and kind of just stick it on there. It's kind of got this bleedy look. So I don't know if that's the look that it's supposed to have. Because I haven't really used it before. But you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to put it on this thing. And we'll see what happens. If this helps at all. I think it's just kind of supposed to be um, blurry a little bit like that. So we'll see because that's how it came out on here. But that's okay. We can work with that for sure. Just going to color this, or not color, but just going to take this off. And now that I'm thinking about it while we're trying this, I'm going to try it in the Rich Razzleberry and see if maybe it's just that memento ink or if it's actually supposed to be kind of feathered like that oh uh, now see this did come out a little bit better yeah that came out better than with the memento ink so that might be what's good um, 
that we could learn not to use the memento ink on these but I still like that flurry kind of blurry nest there so I'm going to keep it and we're gonna go with it so I'm gonna put that away and then I already know I'm just gonna tear that on the bottom so let's go ahead and grab some of our alcohol ink markers and I think I'm going to go with this one. It looks pretty close to what we're using. And I'm just going to kind of go in here. And even though it's watercolor, I'm still going to use it there. And then I'm going to go with this uh, kind of blushy color. This is from the ha hashtag coloring marker set. We're just going to kind of color this all in there. And it's really bright, so that wasn't what I was going for. And we'll, we'll see what comes out because this, um, this is all product I don't typically use, but I just wanted to switch it up for you guys and uh, not just always tell you about Stampin' Up! but tell you about some other stuff as well. So this one is the V3 from the hashtag coloring. And it is coming out really pretty. And I thought these would kind of match, but these don't match at all for, for the most part, so. But they can't, they're alcohol markers, so they'll co color right over each other. And we'll just try this little color here and see what happens. That's kind of pretty. That's really pretty. So then I need a top color there. I'm kind of scared because that looks like it wants to be rich razzleberry, right? But I don't know. So we'll see. I'm just going to color these up like this. There we go. That is really pretty. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the dark right over here. Now I do love, I never took any classes as you can tell, um, but I still love playing with the alcohol markers because I love that they just blend with each other. And they're so pretty. And I'm not worried. That's why I put it on um, watercolor paper. Because I don't care how it looks. I just want it to kind of look watercolory. And I'm going to go back and put a little bit. of this here and get a little bit of that water watercolor effect there and then I'll bring in my watercolors and to be quite honest I don't know if this is going to work out or not we'll see I didn't think it was going to do much because these are alcohol markers, but that's okay. It is giving a little bit of a hue around it, so that's kind of cool. But if I wanted to, I could always bring in these colors here that I'll be using. 
So I think that's just so pretty, super cute. So that's the start. Now, let's go ahead and work on this guy here. And this one, I did want to use uh, that stamp set again. And just kind of randomly use whatever I feel like on here. So I really like this dream and I think I want to do it across the flower right here in the rich razzleberry. Let's, let's go ahead and do that first because so I'm just going with it and we're going to see what happens here. So this is what I wanted to do it like this uh, with you guys this way and then I want you to tell me if this is something you'd like to see me do um, in a live feed where you guys would kind of tell me where we're going to go with it. So that says dream right across there. And I think I'm going to leave this open because I want to use that. And I think since I have it there, I'm going to use a little bit of that around here. Kind of just making my own background like that. And we will continue to add onto this. So let me just wipe this off. I really, really love these words. Now these are meant for, um, like um, Bible journaling, but I just think they're so pretty. So I'm going to use this one here, and this is kind of just a um, floral. I'm going to do that in some always artichoke. to build I just think this is so beautiful Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really getting into this whole journaling thing. So I don't know if I'm just following what everybody's doing or if it's gotten bigger and I just don't realize it. I'm not sure. So but that is really cool. And then I want to get some of this flirty flamingo here. I'm going to just color this. Uh, not color it, wipe this off and clean it up. Let's stick that right back there. And it's got these little dots here. So I want to get those little dots on here as well. And get those in some flirty flamingo. I'm telling you, I thought I was going to use this flower here, but this is coming out super cute, but I don't think I'm going to. And I need to be careful. I don't like when I get the halos on there, so I'm just going to wipe that off. I'm 
just kind of filling in some spots here where I'm not real sure. Isn't that cute? That is really, really cute. So I'm just going to clean this off. So what I'd like to do um, on my live feeds, if you want to see a live feed, make sure you give me a thumbs up because that is how I can tell what you guys want to see. And I, I think I might even be done here. I think I'm going to do a little bit of water coloring um, just to bring in some color here. This is really going in a different way than what I thought. And so imagine how cool that would be if it went like that during a live feed. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just drag a little bit of water down here. And this one is into my pear pizzazz. And I'm just going to kind of add some colors here. And I don't know, watercoloring just seems so relaxing to me. I don't know about you, but I mean, I've always just loved coloring as I was a kid. And watercoloring is just another level entirely. So. And you don't have to stay within the lines. You can go outside the lines if you want to. Um, for me, I don't know, I just, this seems like it's really clean here. So I'm kind of just sticking with it. I'm trying to keep it more clean on the background. And then I want a little bit more watercolory on the foreground. So I'm kind of just picking up the ink from the top of the lid with a little bit of water um, with my aqua painter. And so if you haven't tried an aqua painter, you need to. Um, I got mine from Stampin' Up, but you can get them anywhere. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, I don't know if I've seen them at Tuesday morning or not, but definitely you can get them at in any art supply place. This is so pretty. So I think I might even just make a page of this and use it for like a uh, page in my life journal. So I don't know, I must have rubbed my hand in something because it is all over there, but that's okay. We're going to um, just keep going. We're going to figure this out. I know that um, I have a lot of comments that you guys don't mind that I don't edit so much because you like to see <laughs> that I definitely mess up quite a bit. Um, since I'm not editing out and being perfect. And I'm so glad that you guys like that and that you can actually learn from it. I've, I've just heard so many great comments and I just wanna thank you guys for being so sweet to me. So we've got that. I think that came out cute except for my crazy hand. I don't know what I did there. But oh, guess what? I found these. These were online. They are um, from Amazon, and I learned about them at the uh, Stampin' Up! retreat I went to, and one of the girls had them. Actually, a couple of the girls had them. So now we'll try it and see what happens here. But uh, it's just a Tombow uh, mono eraser, and it's supposed to erase ink off of paper, so when that kind of stuff happens, so let's see, shall we? Um, I don't know if you guys watch Threadbanger at all, but I'm starting to pick up some of the things that other YouTubers are doing. I don't know, am I the only one who does that? 
I'm not sure. So let's see if this is picking it. Eh, it's lightening it up. It's not getting rid of it entirely, but it is lightening it. So that's good. And now, since I tried that, I'm just going to grab a regular pencil and see if that works any better. I don't know, maybe... Maybe it does work about the same, huh? Let's see. Okay, I think I think they're gonna be about the same. What do you think? If you could even see it. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, I think they work about the same and they both got off some ink. It's definitely a lot better than it was. But again, that's okay because I'm going to definitely stick this over somewhere. But I'm not real sure where. I don't know if I want it halfway or or what I want. We'll figure this all out. So I'm gonna clear that up. I think what we'll do. Kind of. I'm going to put this right on here because I know I want that there. And then this is just an 8.5 by 11 cut in half and then folded in half so it comes out to be 5.5 by 4 and a quarter. Just like all my um, cards for the most part. Just your average A2 size card. And then we've got this guy here. And I'm thinking that I may want to run some washi across it. So we'll look here and see if there's any washi. So far this heart is cute. The black and white is kind of cute. I think it starts all over again. Yeah. Let's see. Yep. So I think we're going to go with this heart one. And I'm just going to pull that out. Um, this is the washi tape uh, from Illustrated Faith, and it's just washi stickers. don't need it all. So I'm just going to run it across like this. And then I'm just going to take it and tear it kind of like that and then push it around the back. And I'm going to save this because I will use this again. Um, you know, my sizes of washi, even if it's a small little pizza washi, I could still use it. I'm just sticking that back on there. Okay. Now, I'm going to look through here, and this is the Bright and Brave Tabbies. And see if there's anything that I just kind of want to put on there. I could look at the back, but I think I'm going to open it and see these are definitely for Bible journaling but that is okay we can use it however we'd like see if there's anything this one's cute it says love this that one's cute These are cute, but that doesn't really match. 
Look at this one. That one could be cute, kind of like a topper, but no. Uh, I think I might, this one's kind of cute. If we wanted to do something like that. would be cute but the colors don't match what's this black one here Jesus and grace that's cute too that grace would be really cute I'm gonna save that for a different one I'm definitely gonna use that like that one there so I have these now I'm gonna have to find a place to put them I don't know. I don't know if this might work. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Definitely loving this look here. that here and then I saw sorry here I saw this little guy laying there just all by himself so I'm gonna stick him somewhere in there too but I don't know where I think Oh, that would be so cute. I could have cut it down a little bit, but that's all right. If it doesn't work, I'm going to stick this in here like this. See there? So I just love, love, love that you could use these for anything you want. They don't have to just be for your Bible studies or anything like that. So, I mean, I've just been ordering off of Dayspring like crazy lately, and I am loving it. So, now we need to decide what we want to do here. If we want the whole thing, or if we just want a portion of it. That would be cute, but I think I need something backing it up. I'm trying to think if I need it. Hmm. You guys, I think I do. I think I need to start doing some. Uh, live feeds with you guys because you guys are always so talented in telling me what I could do, what could have been done because I always have questions but I always get the answers a little bit too late. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here. I'm going to use the whole sheet and just a little bit on each side. some glue on here and get that one because I definitely know I want that on there 
So this is just uh, Tombow liquid glue. And I definitely know that I want it kind of, oh, that's exactly where I want it. There we go. Sometimes it just does it on its own. And then I don't know. I think I'm going to save this. I do. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go back to this pear pizzazz. I'm just going to take a piece of it's clean on this side. So I'm just going to take a little bit there, get some ink on there, and kind of dab it on this bottom here. And then I don't, I'm going to go around. We'll see if that is what I like always like that to just brings out it makes it pop in my opinion I'm thinking, is there anything else that I need or want? I'm thinking a little bit of some ribbon would work. So I'm going to grab uh, I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz stapler because the staples are kind of tiny. And then I have some like lace, I don't know. Maybe this little shiny color is pretty. I'm not real sure. I'm gonna look real quick, see if I have anything. Give me just a moment. Okay, I found some of this from Target, and then I found some of this uh, copper thread. So I think what I'm going to do is use them both. So I'm just going to kind of do three fingers and just go around a few times. And just grab those ends. I'm gonna put some tape down here. Kind of just stick it so that it's sticking out different directions. Like that. So then, I'm going to just take a little piece of this, not a lot. I'm just going to kind of hold it. There we go. And then with these little Tim Holtz. Put a couple in there like that. Kind of cut it at an angle. Same with this one. That didn't really do too much, did it? I think I'm going to cut this one at an angle, a different angle. <laughs> 
There we go. Yep. There we go. So then I'm going to grab some adhesive dots, which holy smokes, look at how old these are. They, Stampin' Up! doesn't even use that blue color anymore. <laughs> Every so often you just find stuff in your stash that you forgot that you had. So I'm going to put one on each side at the bottom. So I'll tell you what, Stampin' Up! has definitely improved these little guys. Either that or it's been holding on for dear life for so many years. Who knows, it could be. Let's see if there's a date on here. 1999. <laughs> I've been stamping for a while. So, I don't know. These might not make it, you guys. These might go into the trash if I can't get them to stick properly. So, I'm going to stick that right in the middle. And that's pretty. But I also brought out my um, little enamel dots. I think we're going to use that. I wanted to use this Wink of Stella and kind of put it on here. Give this little flower some pretty glisten there. It's just so pretty, this little Wink of Stella. put some on this little guy too. I've never used it on wood before, but it's coming out rather pretty. Okay. I don't know if you could see that or not. It's beautiful and especially on that wood. Holy smokes, that's pretty. So now let's just go ahead and stick some of these in like kind of random places. I'm going to put this little heart right over this heart. Like that. And then we'll just put some of these like that. We'll put one over here. And don't be afraid to put one right on the lace. Well, let's see here. Just gonna put one down here. And right there. Two, four, six, seven. Okay, that's seven. That's a lot. But I want one down here. I don't know. Then we're going into eight. Ah. So I think I'm going to leave it. All right, so that's my card. I think it's rather pretty. It's kind of busy everywhere, but I don't know. I've been liking that lately. And then for this to be kind of the focal, I like it. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, comment below. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for staying this long. And you might want to subscribe. I'd love to have you subscribe. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.